Today, we're gonna to be fixing one of the biggest problems that this Land Rover Defender has been plagued with since I got it. Are you gonna help? So if you guys have watched some of my previous videos, you'll know that I've had a lot of issues out of my A-pillars making a crazy amount of noise. Now, with that being said, there is a bulletin that Land Rover's put out on these to actually fix it. So I've looked through it and taken mine apart and mine seems like it's already got half of it done. So to start on actually taking this pillar cover off, You'll need to open your door a little bit. That way you've got access to this bottom piece because that's the first piece you'll need to take off. What you'll want to do is actually pull this piece out towards you and then you can pull this piece forward. Just like that. And then that gives you access to your T27 bolt. That way you can loosen up the rest of the pillar. And then for this piece, you'll actually pull it down. Then you can lift the top portion and push it back out. Then you've got it free and clear. Now I already did the driver's side and what I noticed is they've already put the felt here. So it does have the felt, which is a part on the bulletin that they've actually put in. You can tell that's not from the factory. So they've at least tried to make the wind noise better. It just hasn't worked. So on the inside, what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be lining this side right here with 3M double-sided tape, as well as this side right here, which I think is where we're getting most of that wind noise. It's getting in behind that and moving it around. So we're gonna go ahead and line up some 3M and tape it all up. First, you'll wanna clean off all the places that you're actually gonna be adding the tape, just so it sticks good and you don't have to worry about it coming off. Now, once you've got it all lined up on both sides right here, what you'll want to do is you'll actually want to pull a piece off of the red side. That way you'll be able to grab it after you install it because you don't want to pull this opposite side off the sticky side until you actually have it installed. Now, one thing to keep in mind is on this factory style weather stripping right here, you want to take this almost to the very edge. You want to leave just a little millimeter, not much at all. You'll want it still be covered. That way you don't have to see the 3M, but you want it to be able to stick uh, in the main points, you're wanting that wind to stay out. So keep that in mind. And then just pull off a little tab, that way you can pull them off whenever you've actually got them installed. To do this, you'll want to push it all the way back in, just like how you actually pulled it out. Make sure both your red tabs are sticking out, that way you'll have access to it. Then you'll push it down where you think it needs to go. And then you'll slide it up and it should feel extremely snug in there. You can latch the bottom and not the top. So be sure that you've got the top latched as well. And then you should be good. So what I actually like to do is reinstall this bolt first and cinch it down all the way. and then I'll pull my tabs out. Now, once you've pulled these tabs out, you can push down on the side like that. It really just doesn't get the job done. So what I do is I grab a little pry tool like this and I actually go onto this weather stripping right here and push it down against the glass. And you'll just continue that all the way up. And then for the back side, pull out that red piece as well. And for the back, it should already be touching, but you always want to at least apply a little bit of extra pressure just to make sure. And then the last thing for this trim piece right here, you'll see it's got this clip that actually goes into the front. And what I like to do is just go ahead and wrap it with half a line of tape, just so we get a little bit of extra traction on it. And that way, I don't know if this could make any of the noise, but there's a chance that it might. So I wanna go ahead and address it while we have it off.
Now to reinstall this piece, I think you're actually supposed to start with the front. I'm just not able to get that to work. So I start with the back. Make sure that this little piece is below your trim piece for your pillar. And after you've got it snapped in, you'll want to push it up a little bit to make sure it's all fit and flush. And then you're all done. And you guys can tell just how rigid that piece actually is now, just adding the 3M on there. Before you could move it quite a bit, but now it is locked into place. And I believe that is 100% going to fix our horrible, horrible wind noise issue. And now we might as well throw on the sticker that I was planning to the other day, but just didn't have the time. A big shout out to these guys for sending out the stuff they did earlier and the stuff we're gonna continue doing in the future. Before we test that out, since it's just raining, there's nothing I can really do. Might as well spend the time to clean this engine bay for the first time ever. And a lot of people have been telling me it really needs it. Not perfect, but definitely way better. A lot of those I'm really just gonna have to clean instead of just wipe off, uh, but it cleaned up decent. Obviously it's not caked in mud anymore, just got quite a bit of dirt all over it, so much better. Well, after we did that fix, I actually took it out to test it and see if it really worked, and sure enough, it did. Now, I only got it up to about 65 miles an hour, but around 60 to 65 is when the noise was the absolute worst, and it's not there anymore. Can't hear it even if you try. So, I just wanted to put this video out there for those of you that want to watch a video on it. I was scouring YouTube earlier to find a video on how to do it yourself, and there wasn't one out there. So, I wanted you guys to have a point of reference to really know how to do it and what steps are involved. Now, if you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see next. But until then, Godspeed.